let's make our space alien disappear now when we are hit. So add this code to your spaceship sprite to make it broadcast a message hit when the spaceship touches a space alien. So all the space alien sprites will receive a hit message and you can instruct them to disappear when the spaceship is hit by adding this code to the space alien sprite. So at the end of the code we are working on, let's broadcast a message hit. So we are triggering an event in our program that we are talking to other sprites. So we are going to communicate to broadcast a message and let's make a new message called hit since we've been hit by the space alien. And now since we broadcasted a message hit, we can receive it on the alien to delete this clone. So let's go ahead then and go to the alien sprite. That way, as the alien, when I receive the message hit, we will then delete this clone so that the space aliens disappear. So test it out in your program. So again, we are moving left and right, and we are waiting for the incoming alien. And notice that. Once we got hit, the alien disappeared this time. Now, the only thing is, we're not switching back to a normal spaceship. So we're going to add a weight block to the end of this space sprite to add a pause before they can begin appearing again. So let's add in a weight block to our program. That way, the monsters have a moment to come back. So we'll head back to the rocket ship. And let's go ahead and add in a weight block with a forever loop. That way, once we are hit and one second has passed, we will then switch back to normal. So let's add in a weight block in our program. That way, we, when we are hit, wait one second. And then the forever loop will make it loop back into switch to costume normal. And test it out again and see a different result. Notice that I got hit, but I am back into a spaceship this time. Second time. And it works great second time around. Great. Let's work on some space bats.